Hey everyone, I am Eliza Kenigsberg and I'm a career coordinator with Aspire Gorham. Aspire Gorham is a community-wide initiative that aims to encourage students of all ages to think and plan for their future. It's a partnership between the Melmac Education Foundation, the Gorham Schools, uh, and JMG. In Gorham, we have three different buckets of extended learning opportunities. The first is our workplace learning program. The second are independent studies. And the third are something we call flexible learning opportunities. So that first category of extended learning opportunities is the workplace learning program or workplace learning experience. This looks one of two ways. It's either a full semester internship, generally between 60 and 120 hours, so a half credit to a full credit, uh, and it's either with one mentor in one field or maybe two mentors in two different career fields at the most. So it's a more concentrated experience. Uh, so some examples are listed here. Uh, the social, the, we had a student interested in social work who spent part of her time working with a local soup kitchen and food pantry, doing the volunteer work required, and then also being mentored by the folks running those places. In combination, she also partnered with our school social workers, and they gave her an opportunity to assist in their work and also just learn more about the profession as a whole. We also had, for another example, a student who was not sure whether veterinary medicine or law enforcement would be a good fit. Uh, and so she did full length experiences with both. Our career exploration um, opportunity is just a broader way for a student to explore, a more open-ended way for them to do that. Uh, so one example was a student who was interested in film production, but wasn't sure which way she wanted to go. So she started by doing several informational interviews with film producers and documentarians and all sorts of people. Then she focused her thinking and produced her own mini documentary, documentary based on that info. Uh, and then she did an internship uh, with a local project. As you can tell, um, this, this bucket of ELOs requires a fair amount of staff investment, student supply, uh, which, which helps build their focus and their investment. Uh, there's an interview or at least a, an initial conversation there are weekly or bi-weekly debriefs with a cohort of students, and there's a final presentation or project. So it's a fair bit of staff work to get this off the ground. Our independent study and flexible learning opportunities are shown on this slide. Uh, I'll skip the independent study because I think that's something that's common in many schools. Uh, basically a deeper dive into content area with staff support and a specific goal and deliverable. Our flexible learning opportunity feels the most unique. Uh, it was designed with credit recovery in mind and to acknowledge that this year and every year, students do all sorts of learning and exploring outside of our school walls. And so this was designed to award credit to students for that learning, for that investment in time, for that curiosity. Uh, in more of an honor system way. Uh, and this would require less staff involvement, but a fair amount of trust that students are reporting their work accurately. Such a pleasure to share the work we're doing. Please be in touch. I'll be on the April 8th Q&A Zoom. You can also reach out to me anytime at any of these contact infos. Um, and you can learn more about Aspire Gorham and the work we're doing on the Gorham Schools website. Thanks so much.